built the company, it was not a journey of a career path, mm -hmm. as many people in the world do. Mm -hmm. It's more of an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So it was a company that was built to help others, A, build companies and get a lot of the resources they were looking for, which primarily were funding and access to large corporations so that they can excel their own businesses. So I built the hatchery, A, as a way so that others can collaborate easier, so they can have access to resources that were really not as available as it is now, and really to guide them to build better companies. Some of the lessons along the way that folks tend to maybe take light of, maybe they don't know the, the gravity of, the, of these decisions are the teams that you pick, um, it's crucial. It will actually determine the success or failure of a company is based on who you pick in the very beginning. Um, and then secondly, a lot of folks, mostly in tech, I would say, tend to forget revenue models. They don't think about how the company is going to make money. They don't think about who those customers are, whether they have those relationships or not, and specifically how they're going to land those deals. And then potentially, what's the, what's the vision of this company? Is this something that you want to build to sell, something you want to build to keep? There's nothing right or wrong about either, but those decisions then transcend into how you get investor funding, the road you take with building the company. And I think in the technology sector, people just build without thinking all the way through. Incubator model essentially is a backward process of building companies. We first get the funding, we then get the customers, and then the last thing we do is actually build the product. Whereas most companies do it the other way around. So, and as a result, we take a 33-month process and we turn it into a six-month process. I mean, I give you money, but they give me money. That's the difference. And so our team are serial entrepreneurs, people who built and sold companies, people with reputation. They'll give us money, but we don't go there saying, "Hey, we have no idea." We give them the whole infrastructure of the way we're going to do it. They believe in that and they, they agree. So we just line everything up very early days. So then we turn everything to milestone driven. Well, IT has more investors. The problem with other sectors is the lack of investors. And that's, that is the thing that hinders entrepreneurship. I look at the team. Do they work well together? Um, can they handle tough situations? And the easy way to kind of just test that is to poke really hard at their business. Uh, not to be mean, but to see how they handle it. A lot of it is just, how do you handle situations? How do you handle it? And if they get upset really easily, they probably will get upset in almost everything. You know, this is just a simple conversation. I am being maybe a little uh, dramatic with the person sitting across the table, but it's a good test. Um, I also want to see the company have a lot of legs, a lot of room to grow. Um, I want to see that the CEO is thinking about a variety of angles as to how to make this company generate the revenue it needs. And I'd like to see them have some network that could be leveraged. It's funny because there actually are quite a large number of women starting businesses, but they don't start it in a way that is meant to grow very large. They think small. So it's can this woman lead a company to do that? Some points of advice, give before you take. Help other people, it's nothing to do with gender. Don't just help women, help men, help everybody. Um, lend a hand first and you'll receive a lot more. I've made a lot of mistakes and I've learned a lot of things the hard way. I think I've paid my dues for the education of life that I've received. Um, no one is going to make it through without having a few setbacks. Murphy's Law, basically, if anything can go wrong, it'll go wrong, will always happen. So prepare as, as best you can with that. And pick your teammates very wisely. It is such a simple thing that people around you will absolutely determine your success and could also um, steal your trust. Think about it from another perspective besides your own. Think about it from the investor's perspective. It'll actually help you answer the questions and get through it. It's a lot better. But be someone worth helping. 
just because you ask doesn't mean you get it. So I believe there's two kinds of people in this world, those who lead and those who follow. So if you have to be told to do something, you'll never have the ideas to, to lead a group, to then do something that's never been done, do something that you've never been told to do, do something that has no set of instructions. And I think everybody can do that. I think women should try to do that a little bit more and not be so scared. Um, from a career standpoint, as an entrepreneur, um, learn from others, get mentors, uh, study under someone first if you feel that you need some more experience. And a lot of this has to do with experience, seeing how something is done, not necessarily reading a book about you know, the, what a job looks like. You actually have experience. I don't think anyone ever achieves the, the top of any pyramid. You just keep going and it's just a set of opportunities. There is no ladder. It's just what do you want to do? What will make you happy? And what is still unsettling that you still want to do? And when you accomplish that, there's still something more. And if you feel like you're completely done, then you haven't experienced your full self. There's, there's more. There's always more.